Hey guys, it's your BFS, your best fight friends. Listen here, brother. We got WrestleMania 36, Rachel. This is the first time it's ever been over two days. So we get to talk about, have two reactions to WrestleMania. Yeah. Saturday Never night, happened. Night one of WrestleMania 36. And Kelsey, how do you feel about the Hulk like, show overall? Oh, night one. Yeah, I dig it. Brother, listen up. Um, I grew up watching wrestling when I was a kid. I loved it then. And, you know, wrestling's just a lot of fun, I think, professional wrestling. I think it's a lot of fun. I think it's pretty awesome that the WWE has moved forward with WrestleMania. And that during this time, almost everybody else has canceled everything, with the exception of Dana White, of the UFC. And I think that they pulled it off. I really enjoyed watching WrestleMania. Under the same circumstances, it's different. There's not a crowd there. But I think, man, it really opens... Gives them the opportunity to be creative, and I think they work. You know I what? really enjoy. I'm a lot of movements tonight. <laughs> you know, I think it's my Hulkamania is coming back again. It came back last show. You saw, right? It's been right. all like you know. Anyway, I'm a wrestling noob. Like Kelsey grew up watching wrestling. I did not. I've been a fan for a few years. I think like they pulled it off. I yeah. think that this was enjoyable. I like had a fun evening watching. Everything. Now, I, I don't want to, like, I'm not sure if this is the right move to keep going, putting on the show with this pandemic going on. But, you know, they didn't ask my opinion, and this is what they did. And so I got to enjoy the result of that, which is WrestleMania over two nights, and Saturday night I thought was great. My favorite thing of the night. What was your favorite thing, Rachel? Definitely Kevin Owens. <laughs> so, like, let me tell you, just that match, Kevin Owens... Seth Rollins, Seth Rollins as a heel, like the way his, you know, him being like the good guy rolled into like now being the Messiah and being the bad guy, I love it. And he has so many great one-liners as a Messiah. Him yelling at Kevin Owens tonight, you reap what you sow, is just like, I can't even, it is so good. Then, like Kevin Owens, always great, right? Yeah. He's a fantastic wrestler. He's good on the mic. Like, him, all of a sudden, like, and can I just give a shout out to the camera guys who do excellent camera work, and especially with uh, no audience present. No. They're doing camera shots in such a way to make the audience less of a big deal. They're doing really great. And the way they did this camera work, where all of a sudden you see Kevin Owens on top of the WrestleMania sign, <laughs> it like came out of nowhere for me. And I was like, oh my Because you're like, where gosh. did he go? <laughs> And then he, he, he jumps down from before, there. Before he jumps down, he says, how's this for a WrestleMania moment? It's so good. That was pretty good. So, like, that good. match, that whole thing, Kevin Owens from the WrestleMania sign. And, like, I'm always, like, are they really going to do that? Like, I'm so afraid they're going to get hurt. Like, clearly, every I think, time. I agree. I think that was the best match of the night and the biggest moment of the night. We'll leave a link down in the show notes because it was a, If you haven't seen him jump from the top there down onto... Yeah, we have a link to an amazing. article that will show you that clip, and it's really Cover. great. Let's talk about the Boneyard I match. I want to talk about my favorite wrestling. Oh, okay. I, sorry. You gave your favorite one. Oh, I just assumed that was it. Go ahead. My favorite thing about WrestleMania was the Boneyard match. No was, way. Yeah, because, <laughs> let me tell you why. I've been a combat sports writer for 10 years of my life, so I'm used to covering boxing and now the UFC. I'm used to sitting ringside or at home, watching when I'm, you know, watching what's happening in the flight, cranking out deadline pieces, right? Okay. Well, this is the first time I'd ever done that for a WWE card. I decided to do it for <laughs> WrestleMania 36 for heavy. And as I'm writing, the things that I have to write... During this thing, I just I was just like, I don't even know how to explain this. And that experience... Like, and then AJ got into a tractor that it, to pour dirt over the grave of like, what? But then the underguard magically appeared behind him. That, to me, was so much fun because it was so... It was like what I do when I cover boxing or UFC yeah. or MMA. And it... But it was... It was the WWE. Like, it was so crazy and so much fun. I know, like, that match, those kind of matches are always dumb. Like, I think they're stupid. The on-location matches. They always are like, the same. But yeah. they are always, like, sometimes we're... But I love them. You get this feeling where you're like, what? You're like, what just happened? And, like, the crazy thing with this is I thought I had just missed what the rules were. <laughs> nobody knew. But apparently, like, nobody knew what the rules were for this thing. And, like, you just, you were like, oh, there's an open grave with, a like, a front-loading tractor there prepared with dirt. I don't know who got that ready, but somebody did. And, like, 
I was like, oh, I guess the person will have to be in the grave and covered yeah. with dirt, and then the other guy wins. And I was like, wait a minute. So then that guy's dead. So I'm like, a, I mean, how? Tell me this, Kelsey. How are they going to start the second part of WrestleMania tomorrow night? Now that AJ Styles is dead, he's not literally dead. But like, but for the purposes of like. Here's the I thing. Mean, it did appear Either WrestleMania Part 2 starts with AJ Styles alive, or how do the announcers start WrestleMania Part 2 knowing that he is fictionally dead? How do you start that? I don't that? think he's dead, though. Are they like, oh, and now to our next match? <laughs> now they're like, that wasn't real, guys. <laughs> Like, heard, do they break? They break, and they're like, well, clearly that's not real. Clearly he's not really <laughs> dead, guys. I mean, it didn't say he was dead. We just assume it was because all of a sudden... When you get buried alive? All you alive. see was his little hand sticking out of the grave. Of the, like, for some, somehow in that tracker, there was like seven yards of dirt, and they dumped it in there. Well, like, how deep was that grave, and like, how is AJ Styles' deep. hand sticking up? You know what After I mean? After he poured. Yeah, there's not some... There's a lot of <laughs> ma magical qualities of the Undertaker. That don't, you know, you can't explain. <laughs> Which is fun to, if you're right, if you're used to writing recaps about like sports, like boxing or UFC, and then you're recapping a W match, that's what I'm getting at. Like, I'm like, and then he used magic. <laughs> you know, like, I don't know. What am I supposed to say? I'm trying to. My or, favorite part is the headline for that part in the live results is The Undertaker defeats AJ Styles by burial. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, or is that called a pinfall? I mean, well, I even guess in the thing, count. like it's like presumably to win the match. But we don't know. Like, why is he trying to pour dirt on him? We don't okay. know. No, right? There nobody were no, ever really said. No rules for this. So yeah. <laughs> anyway, we love you, WWE. We love your WrestleMania. We love you specifically, WrestleMania 36 Part One. Yes, we had a great night. I thought they did a good job, like pulling this thing off with no audience. Yeah. Yeah. So we're looking forward to night two, and we're looking forward. For you to like, comment, and subscribe because where else are you gonna like have best fight friends that talk to you about Motor WrestleMania what? or pro wrestling? Sometimes you know. Sometimes we'll talk about sometimes. wrestling. Sometimes. Some mom and we'll call it wrestling. She's like, "You like that wrestling?" And I hated that that she called it wrestling. <laughs> you been watching that wrestling? Yeah. It would always make me so mad. I'm like, it's not called wrestling. We will see you Sunday night.